The number 8 is an important one for Audi. The A8 is its flagship sedan. The R8 is its flagship sports car. And this, the all-new Q8, is its flagship SUV. Combining the characteristics of a coupe with those of an SUV, the Q8 is Audi's answer to the BMW X6, the Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe and the Porsche Cayenne. Inside the Q8, there's an underlying sense of familiarity, for it shares a large part of its design with the all-new A8 and A6 sedans. The sense of roominess is heightened with a narrow dashboard that houses sizable infotainment screens and is embellished with piano black and silver trims for a modern, uncluttered and upmarket feel. Being an Audi and a flagship model at that, the quality of materials is impeccable with Alcantara on the headliner and door panels, smooth leather along the armrest and steering wheel and perforated leather making its way onto the plush seats in both rows. From a practicality perspective, the Q8 offers a sliding second row, a four-zone climate control system and 600 litres of boot space with all seats in use. Powered by a 3-litre turbocharged engine, the Audi Q8 produces 340 horsepower and flaunts a sporty 4060 front rear power distribution while providing the quattro benefit of added grip. Despite being heavier than the Q7 due to the larger wheels and mild hybrid system, the Q8 feels more agile around corners and that boils down to its dimensions and four-wheel steering. Turning the rear wheels in the same direction as the front wheels at lower speeds and in the opposite direction at higher speeds, the system gives the impression of a shorter wheelbase and improves handling dynamics drastically, both on tarmac and off the beaten path, as I discovered when climbing Oman's scenic Jabal Akdar and Jabal Shams. Sharing the group's MLB Evo platform with the Audi Q7, Bentley Bentayga, Volkswagen Touareg, Porsche Cayenne and Lamborghini Urus, the Q8 feels familiar behind the wheel but welcomes an interesting mild hybrid system for improved fuel economy. Between speeds of 55 km per hour and 160 km, coasting disables the engine and instead a 48 volt lithium battery provides necessary power. Gone are the days when buyers wanted hatchbacks, sedans and station wagons. Today the same set of buyers wants compact SUVs, mid-size SUVs and full-size SUVs. And that explains why manufacturers are bending over backwards to fill every niche in the segment. As for the Q8, it's everything a flagship SUV should be and more. And that's why we'll be seeing a lot of them on Middle Eastern roads.